Hi guys, nice to meet you again. I'm Adrian and today I would like to teach you how to monitor your HiCam IP Pro DVR using web browser. Okay, please use Internet Explorer or IE for the web browser and before we proceed with the Internet Explorer, we will change some of the IE security setting as following. So these are the four main things that we are going to change the setting. Okay, first we should go into control panel, double click, and go to network and internet, internet options. Okay, so we go to the second icon, security, and click on custom level okay so we scroll down okay we will see there's an active x control and plug in so these are the thing expect we're going to change okay the first one automatic prompting for active x control okay we look for it okay this one automatic prompting for active x control enable okay the second download signs active x control prompt so we show change the conditions to prompt download sign active x control okay so this is the one so prompt okay so the third one download unsigned active x control okay download unsigned active x control prom okay prom okay run active x control and plug in we have to enable it okay run active x control and plug in okay enable okay all right it looks good then after it's everything is done click ok are you sh sure when you want to change the setting of this one yes just proceed with yes apply ok ok after everything is done we proceed with the second stage just copy this link ecnet.com open open up uh, an IE just paste the link over here enter okay it's loading okay as you can see the top right there have this language button you may change it to Chinese or English okay so this is the ID username and password so you have to insert your DVR ID and your DVR username and password. So uh, we just enter mine. Okay. So the the username and password of my DVR is admin admin. Log in. Okay. So I have successfully to enter my device and this is the first interface or the main interface and the next thing we're going to do is please download or install the plugin or ActiveX. So click on this to install the ActiveX. Do you want to run or set the setup? Just press run. So the install is downloading okay just english okay do this will close your browser press ok to continue yes so the browser close okay next 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 install okay it's almost done okay finish So we have installed the plugin or the ActiveX. So the next thing we're gonna do is reopen the Internet Explorer. Uh, 
enlarge it okay so go back to the ecnet.com and re-log re in the device again log in so the web page want to run the following add-on so this is the add-on which we have downloaded just now and then just uh, allow so as as soon as after you allow it the nine speed screen should be show up over here the speed screens so this is the live view you can double click to enlarge double click to minimize and you can disconnect all channels you can connect all channels again okay furthermore we can change the stream of this video to mainstream which is HD for Kilo video okay so you can see the video has turned clearer we can change it back to substream so the video is smoother but it won't as clear as the mainstream so we can change the speed screen as well 25 36 but we have a channel so nice speed screen is more than enough yeah all right for the playback we have to go to second icon over here playback so this is the interface of the remote playback so you can as you can see over here you have number one and the numbers 36 of channel so so we will just pick up the first second and third channel and we will deselect the others so deselect it okay after so we have selected channel number one channel number two and channel number three so and then the time today is 26 so we will just select 25 for the time we will select 2 p.m. all right and just till 6 p.m. 00, 00 00 p.m. yep okay and then you just search so you can see we have channel number one two three and the time this is uh, 2 p.m. until 3 3 p.m. until 4 and 4 p.m. until 5 and 5 until 6 and so on okay so we just double click on this channel so the time will be sharp show up over here so this is the time frame we can change the time freely or easily over this time frame okay and you can pause it you can play you can enlarge and press escape to minimize it okay so that's all for the plant remote playback functions in web browser so you can just press close the, over here and go back to the main interface so i think that's all for the remote preview and playback through the web browser tutorial and thank you for watching and have a nice day guys